Okay guys, so the oblique sling. It's one of my favorite exercises for cueing internal oblique activation and strengthening the deep obliques. So you wanna start in the dead bug position, lying on your back with your knees bent at 90 degrees and your knee joint directly above the hip joint. So 90 degrees at the hip as well. Your arms out straight with your hands directly above your shoulders. From this position, you want to press your lower back into the ground whilst also keeping your head on the floor. Now, I find that a yoga block tends to use the best distance that we're looking at when it comes to activating the internal obliques, but anything like a foam roller will do as well. Now, all you're going to do is place the oblique sling or place the block in between the opposite elbow and knee. Now, the key here is to keep the knee joint directly above the hip joint and you bring yourself up to the yoga block a lot of people that particularly those that tend to possess weakness within the oblique muscles actually crunch their knee up a lot higher um, trying to keep their thoracic spine neutral or trying to keep their back on the ground which then results in a lot of activation in the hip flexor muscles so like i said keep the knee above the hip joint place the yoga block on the knee and reach up with the opposite elbow to press into the block and hold it in place from here, you want to stretch the opposite leg out away from the body and hovering it a couple of inches off the ground. Holding this position, I want you to focus on breathing as deeply as you can whilst maintaining pressure against the block. One of my favorite beneficial points of the yoga block is that there are three settings, each with a corresponding difficulty level. So holding it on the long end, you'll find that it's a little bit easier because the muscles don't have to shorten as much. And then you can turn it on its side and then on its side again each gets progressively harder as you have to go through a greater range of motions to keep the block in place you want to hold for the desired number of breaths and treat each breath as a repetition before repeating on the opposite side